I would go through one of the advanced sentences today, maybe two, um, since we didn't have as much time to practice our sentences uh, during class. So let's go ahead and get started. So my sentence is already written, which is great. Maybe yours will be too. So when we do dictate, let's make sure we read our sentence out loud, okay? So let's dictate. Wow, Sally and Jim skipped. Okay, check mechanics. Remember what we do? Check our sentence. Check, check our sentence. Check our sentence. Check, check our sentence. Subject, verb, capital letter, end mark, complete sense. Spelling, capitalization, punctuation, too. Let's look. Is all of our spelling correct? Yes. What about capitalization? We do have some proper nouns, and those are both capitalized, so we're good on that. Other punctuation, there's a comma here. Does it belong there? Yes, it does. Okay. So, we're good on our check mechanics. What's next? Question confirmation. And I drew these little, this little face here with these eyes to remind us the first thing we do is we look. What are we looking for? What do we see? Well, I see a comma, so that's gonna tell me something. I see a coordinating conjunction. And do I see any prepositions? No. So I'm gonna be looking for conjunctions, coordinating, subordinating, um, and I'm going to be looking for prepositions. I don't see any of those, but I do see a coordinating conjunction. Let's make sure we keep that in mind and see what that means. Okay, let's go through our first sentence. Let's find our verb. Skipped, looks like our verb. Here are my markers. We're gonna ask, who skipped? Who skipped? Sally and Jim skipped. So we have subject, and is this a noun or a pronoun? It's a noun. Subject, noun. What about this? Subject. Is it a noun or a pronoun? It's a noun. Subject, noun. Sally, what is being said about Sally and Jim? Sally and Jim skipped. That's our verb. Sally and Jim skipped who or what? Nope, there's nothing after it, so we know that that verb is intransitive. Okay, we still have two more words though. Let's identify those. We know that and is a conjunction. We happen to also know it's a coordinating conjunction, so we'll put that there. And then, wow is an interjection. There is no particular question for an interjection. It just is. We know it is ungrammatically connected to the sentence. We can take this off and it doesn't change really the meaning. So we have our interjection. All right. So we have identified in question confirmation, we do two things. We identify. And what's the second thing we have to do? Classify. So have we identified the role of every word? Yes, we have. Now we have to classify. And how do we classify our, I'm looking for my chart. I don't know where we put it from yesterday, but let's look at chart A, think back to chart A. You all should know, how do we classify our sentences? We classify by structure, purpose, and sentence pattern. Okay. All right, let's classify by structure. What is our structure here? How many independent clauses are there? One independent clause with a subject and a verb. Is there any conjunction, any um, subordinating conjunctions? No, so we know it is a simple sentence. What is our purpose? Let's look at our end mark, exclamatory. And let's look at our pattern. We have an S, V, I. Oh, but Mrs. Seiler, there's two subject nouns. That's okay. Our pattern is still S, V, I. Subject, verb, intransitive. 
Good, we've identified and classified. What do we do next? Diagram. So when we go to diagram a compound subject, we need to draw two lines for our subject. We join them and then draw the rest of our main line. Oops, I'm going to step off my counter here. We draw our subject predicate divider and then we fill in our blanks. Sally and our and goes here and Jim skipped. That is a lowercase s, even though it might not look like it. And we draw a shelf up here for our interjection. And we're done. Good job. So we've dictated, checked mechanics, question confirmation of identify and classify. We have diagrammed. Let's modify our sentence. We're going to modify it by Let's modify it by purpose. Wow, Sally and Jim skipped. Let's just make it declarative. Wow, that's a little hard to do with a uh, interjection in here, but wow, Sally and Jim skipped. We might say, wow, who skipped? Or we might say, skip. Okay, do you need something, sweetie? Oh, I'm just coming to get my logic book. Go ahead, sit back. Come on in. Wave hi to the Hello, people! <laughs> All right. As we learn um, other sentence structures and as we learn other sentence patterns, we can modify by those as well. Um, we can add a prepositional phrase in here. Sally, wow, Sally and Jim skipped down the street. So one way we can modify is by adding um, adjectives, adverbs, um, and adjective, adjectival and adverbial phrases. So as you learn those, keep those in mind for your modification. <laughs> My puppy's coming in to play with me. All right, so we modified. Let's do quid it quo. Because I don't have my big quid it quo on the board, I am going to, I am going to do it with you here. Julia, can you bring me a fine pit point Sharpie? Or a wet erase? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can do it this way. Okay, hold on. Hold on with me. Fast forward until it happens. Because if I stop the video, you know what's going to happen. Ah, sorry, you guys. If I stopped the video on the table, if I stop the video, then I have to go through like this editing software to combine it so that when I, way when I upload it to YouTube, it is all one video. And that takes me more time than just waiting for a dry erase marker, which, ta-da, is here. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Let's write down this sentence. So we're going to get our quid quo. We're going to write one word per block. Wow, Sally, and Jim. And we're going to write the usage for the job for each role. This is, and we're just going to use what we put right up here. Oop, it's focusing on my pen. Here we go. Right up there. So Sally is our subject noun and is a conjunction. Jim is a subject noun and skipped is a verb intransitive. So interjection. Let's go down. Noun, pronoun our parts of speech interjection yep it's an interjection you can check it or put an I subject noun here's our nouns is Sally singular or plural singular is she common or proper well she's a specific person so she is proper is Sally concrete or abstract concrete we can touch her and she is not collective or compound. So we can move on. That looks like an O. Let's make that a C. There's my puppy. So you guys can see her. Hi, Athena. You saying hi? All right, let's do this conjunction. And is a conjunction we have identified. Here we go. 
And if you look at chart H for conjunctions, we know that and is a fanboy for and nor but or yet so, and those are our coordinating conjunctions. So we're gonna label that a coordinating. Okay. Did I label that in the wrong? Nope, there we go. Jim is a noun. He's one of our subject nouns. So we're gonna ask these questions about Jim. Is Jim singular or plural? Singular. Is he common or proper? Proper. And is he concrete or abstract? He is concrete. And he is not collective or compound. All right, let's go to our verb. Here's our verb here in the yellow. Now make sure you line up to be right in the right box. So this is our box for our verb, because our verb is right there, okay? So we happen to know what type of verb is it? The type is intransitive. So I'm gonna write that right here. I'm gonna abbreviate it, which is fine. Is it past, present, or future? They skipped, we have a past participle here. So it is a past. Is it simple, perfect, progressive, or perfect progressive? Well, uh, if you have a perfect, you need a form of to have. So you need a helping verb for all of these other ones. Is there any helping verbs? Nope. So we know it's simple. Is it singular or plural? Hmm. Well, we look at our subject, and this one's singular, and this one is singular, but there's two. If we replaced our subject noun with a pronoun, we would say, wow, they skipped. So there's more than one here. Even though Sally is singular and Jim is singular, together they are more than one. That coordinating conjunction joins them together. So our verb is plural. What person is it? First person, second person, third person? I'm not talking about me. I'm not talking about you. We're talking about Sally and Jim. That is third person. Active or passive? Who's doing the skipping? Is Sally and Jim doing the skipping? They are, so it is active. And the mood? It is a statement, so this is indicative. Now, Remember, we only quit at quo, tell me everything you know. So you might not have filled in quite as much as I filled in on my chart. That's okay. This is my fifth year doing essentials. Sixth year doing essentials. So if you are in your first, second, or third year doing essentials, you might not quite fill it in as much as me. But good job, you did it. Congratulations.